Hey guys, it's Matt Jones in Seoul. Uh, we've just seen the, this uh, great uh, colourful event of this guard being mounted uh, outside this great palace near City Hall in Seoul. And people wearing their uh, traditional costumes from the Joseon period with their weapons. And it's been celebrated by uh, Koreans and tourists alike, uh, bringing a lot of uh, enjoyment and uh, maybe some curiosity about who the people are, what they're wearing, and uh, who they represented back in the day. Uh, this is an invitation for you to be part of a, of a journey I'm going on shortly to examine. It's called uh, Looking for the Admiral. And we're going to, over a number of part series uh, here on video, we're going to explore the story of Yishin Shin, uh, a great figure in Korea's history. And importantly, we're going to find the man behind the myth, which I think is far more interesting. Uh, as much as we can, we can look at these at these uh, costumes today. Uh, they tell us a lot about what he might have worn, uh, who he was as a person, or what he looked like. But I think the character and the underlying uh, strategies and thinking, the the vision, the foresight, the the appreciation of Isin Shin for himself, for Korea, for his uh, peers and the enemy. Uh, as well as the environment, certainly made him a formidable uh, commander. It's a story that needs to be told, not just for Koreans, but importantly for a Western audience. And I hope you'll join and be part of that. So welcome on this journey, looking for the Admiral. Coming soon, uh, contact me at Twitter, at Social Alchemy, to get involved. Looking forward to seeing you on that journey, looking for the Admiral. This is Shin, man behind the myth.